The HP Spectra X360 convertible is the pinnacle of HP's premium range of prosumer laptops. The 2020 model has slimmer bezels, a smaller webcam unit, new GTX graphics options, and naturally Intel 10th gen processors. Is it enough to make it a flagship laptop? Let's see if it's worth an archer. When you take the compact Spectra out of the luxurious packaging, you know it's going to be special. It's a beautiful design, really well made with no flex, thanks to the CNC aluminium chassis. There's a definite premium flagship feel when you hold it, especially with the colour choice of signature Nightfall Black with copper lust accents. The downside to this, it can be a fingerprint magnet. It weighs in at 1.92 kilograms or 4.23 pounds, resulting in a 13% smaller chassis size than last year's model. It's heavy and solid in a premium way, but don't try to hold it it too long with one hand. HP have included a matching leather laptop sleeve to go with your Spectra X360. As the name suggests, the Spectra X360 has a flexible hinge to change viewing positions, laptop mode, stand mode, tent mode and tablet mode. Bear in mind it is heavy to hold in tablet mode. To open the bottom cover, there are two screws underneath and hidden screws in the rubber feet to reveal the internals. Memory is soldered on, therefore there is no upgrade option. A lot of the limitation is the maximum 16GB RAM. There's an NVMe M.2 slot for storage upgrades. Two fans take care of the cooling, one for the CPU and one for the Nvidia GPU. The 2020 Spectra has narrow bezels on all four sides resulting in a higher screen to body ratio of 90% compared to the previous model. HP engineers managed to fit a tiny webcam lens and IR sensors into the thin bezels to accommodate this design. This 4K review model has gorgeous vivid colours from the 15.6 inch OLED panel, fantastic contrast ratio, dynamic range and viewing angle are excellent. The anti-reflection Corning Gorilla Glass does a good job to keep the reflection down, but there is still some glare with bright lighting. The touchscreen is sensitive and works well, especially alongside the 360 hinge. Brightness is rated at 400 nits, plenty for most indoor and outdoor environments. Note there is PWM for low brightness as it's an OLED panel. Colour accuracy is rated at 100% DCI-P3, suitable for Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom work. The Spectra X360 comes with a HP rechargeable MPP 2.0 tilt pen. There are two buttons on the side of the pen where your thumb rests on while holding. The lower button is used for erasing and the top button is used for right click functions by default. You can change these binds with the provided HP software. There is no razor end button on the pen. The pen feels comfortable to hold. There's excellent sensitivity and pressure. Accuracy is very good along with the useful tilt functionality, allowing shading at different angles. USB-C charging gives up to 30 day battery life. There's also a couple of extra nibs to suit your task. In tablet mode, the keyboard is turned off when using the pen. On the right, there are two Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C, 40 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery, DisplayPort 1.4, HP sleep and charge. One USB Type-A 10 gigabits per second HP sleep and charge port, a webcams, kill switch and a micro SD media card reader. On the left we have the power on off button on the corner, AC power, HDMI 2.0B and a headphone microphone combo. Wireless is provided by the Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 2x2 and Bluetooth 5 combo. Wi-Fi speeds were very good in testing thanks to the 2x2 antennas. Bluetooth signal was excellent too when connected to an MX Master mouse or external Bluetooth speakers. The Spectra has an excellent typing keyboard, lots of travel soft touch, tactile keys solid when typing with zero flex. There's two levels of white backlighting on the keys and a useful numeric keypad for number crunching. The downside of the numeric keypad is the smaller enter and up and down keys. The trackpad is wide but short in height. The Microsoft Position glass surface gives a really good smooth glide action and multi-touch finger gestures. Audio is tuned by Bang & Olufsen and has quad speakers positioned at the top speaker grill and underneath. Sound is really good from the speakers giving a loud and rich tone from classics to rock. The 720p HD IR camera with integrated dual ray digital microphone is the biggest weakness for the premium Spectra X360. Colors are washed out and video output is poor. The webcam is surrounded by IR sensors for Windows Hello authentication. HP have included a physical camera kill switch on the side for added security. As this is the top model of the range, you naturally expect powerful specs. Inside we have the Intel i7 10750H hexa-core processor running at a 
2.6 GHz bass frequency up to 5 GHz with turbo boost. TDP is rated at 45 watts. The processor sustains around 17 to 25 watts for a few, maybe 10 minutes, but then drops to around 15 watts and stays there showing aggressive power throttling to keep the temperatures down. This review model has 16 GB of DDR4 soldered on memory and a 1 TB PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD. The Spectra eats general work tasks for breakfast as you would expect. Complex tasks like rendering and video encoding are possible too. It blasts through Adobe Premiere Pro encoding, for example a 4K 60 8 minute video encoded in 18 minutes with the help of the dedicated NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti GPU. User benchmark scores show this is the case with outstanding single core scores and workstation tasks is possible on this laptop. The Comet Late i7 10750H sits close to the AMD Ryzen 7 4800U and further down the pecking order from the MVP star AMD Ryzen 7 4800H. If we compare the 6 core i7 10750H to the AMD equivalent, the 4600H in single core benchmarks, the i7 10750H has a slight lead over the 4600H. However, in multi-core benchmarks, the AMD races ahead. Using the recommended thermal profile in the HP command center, fan noise is surprisingly quiet when browsing or video streaming. On idle, the dual fans don't spin, and it is silent. When doing heavy tasks, the fans spin up, but the sound is not annoying or high pitch. When gaming, the fan noise will cycle instead of maintaining a constant RPM. The Spectra X360 generates heat from both side vents, especially on the left vent. Underneath in the middle is very warm to touch and warm on top of the keyboard. Not a laptop to place on your lap for any length of time. Graphics is provided by the integrated UHD Graphics 630 for less demanding tasks and the dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650Ti with Max-Q design, 4GB of GDDR6 dedicated. The 1650Ti is a mid-range graphics card for laptops. The Max-Q variant is the power-efficient GPU that translates to less heat and noise in theory. For content creators, the A-team of the i7-10750H, UHD 630 and GTX 1650 Ti combined for fast and efficient workloads on Adobe Premiere Pro using GPU accelerated effects with the NVIDIA CUDA technology. Triple A gaming is possible on the Spectra X360 with the GTX 1650. For example, Battlefield 5 runs at 79 frames per second on high quality 1080p settings, and Apex Legends easily plays at 68 frames per second on the same high settings. Battery life on the 6 cell 72.9 what our lithium iron battery is around six hours on general light usage. Running a YouTube loop resulted in four and a half hours battery life and four to five hours heavy usage on Adobe Premiere Pro. The large 135 watt smart AC power adapter can fast charge the Spectra from 0 to 40% in 30 minutes. To keep your data safe on the Spectra X360, HP have provided a fingerprint reader, IR camera for Windows Hello authentication, a mic mute key, a webcam kill switch and trusted platform module TPM chip to name a few. Top 3 pros and cons before buying the HP Spectra X360 15. That display. Although a little reflective and the display is 16 by 9 aspect ratio, when the competition like the Dell XPS 15 2020 is 1610, you can't argue the 4K screen is stunning. Colours pop thanks to the AMOLED panel and 100% DCI P3 colour accuracy. Performance. If you need a laptop with some oomph, the Spectra X360 is a joy to use. Whether you're working from home with heavy office tasks to photo editing on Photoshop or video encoding on Premiere Pro, the i7-10750H cuts through like a hot knife to butter. Stylish. It's clear that the Spectra X360 is something special when you take it out of the box. The 2020 version has slimmed down to keep up with the competition. The beautiful nightfall black aluminium against the copper accents adds a premium look and the chassis is rock solid. Hot. The HP Spectra X360 runs pretty hot, particularly if you're using it for demanding tasks such as 3D rendering on Blender or 4K video editing DaVinci. I found sometimes when I shut the lid the laptop stays hot and the fans are constantly spinning. Not a laptop to use on your lap. USB ports. I know I'm nitpicking a bit, but for a £2,000 laptop, I expected at least four USB ports. I love a USB Type-A port would have been nice, plus while I'm nagging, why are the USB-C and USB-A ports so close together, making it impossible to use a wide USB stick? Soldered on, you say? 
For flagship premium laptop, the 16GB of soldered memory is pitiful and there are no upgrade options on point of sale. Even Apple will happily charge you £800 extra for a 64GB version of their MacBook Pro 16 inch. If you were in the market for a premium 15.6 inch laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Dell XPS 15 2020 Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch Zeus ZenBook Flip Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 Razer Blade 15 Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 3 Microsoft Surface Book 3 There's no denying the HP Spectra X360 2020 is a stunning flagship convertible laptop. The HP engineers have reduced the bezels and dimensions, in turn making the 2020 version even more beautiful. The OLED display is colour accurate and plenty of space to work on with the 4K screen. The keyboard is great to type on and security features are impressive. The included tilt pen is a welcome addition and makes drawing and note taking easy. The Spectra X50 does however drop points in a few things. Performance in general is excellent but power and thermal throttling reduces the effectiveness of the hardware components. Battery life is poor due to the OLED 4K panel and GTX 1650 Ti GPU. There is a non-OLED model if this is important to you. The chassis gets hot more often than it should do, putting a question mark over its long-term reliability. The webcam is pathetic and a lover USB port and SD card reader would be useful when you consider the laptop is £2,000. Let's not forget the possible deal breaker for some, the maximum 16GB of soldered on RAM. Strangely, HP have recently released the similar spec HP NV Laptop 15 EP 0008 NA 2020 edition with the newer NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU for £1,800, arguably a better buy. Overall, the HP Spectra X360 15 is a very good laptop, but flawed in too many ways to make it a leader of the pack. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP Spectra X360 15 EB 0001 NA laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video, and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.